So let's see what power up can find. Yeah, so it's already spitting out talent. So I believe these edge updates are false positives. We can check that. Delal hijack, almost never care about. Mm. So this is the previous right? They always install elevated. I'll show you how to essentially exploit that in a second. But yeah, if you see always install elevated and Wimpy's is gonna find it, privacy check is gonna find it, power up is gonna find it, right? Let me just check, yeah? Because it's a different version of uh, power up. It's a bit different version. I believe these are false positives. And I think this tool spits out not that output, but let me just double check that. Same tool, just different version. Yeah, so it finds the DLL and it finds the most important part, right? Okay, but yeah, we can double check, right? So if, for instance, it claims that this has generic right. Hmm. Modifiable service files, generic right. So we can see like something with get ACL on. Uh, edge update. And see if we actually write permission on this. Uh, wait, so what am I doing? Uh, not on the service, the. The service binary path, right? So. Pipe this into FL format list. So we can see that full control from system, of course, same with admin. Users can only read and execute and synchronize. And these things we aren't really have access to, so that's not really the case. We can't really modify any service files. We can see if we can actually have those right attributes, right? So we can try just like typing echo into this location. And we're not gonna have access to it, right? So denied. So there's probably false positives. Um, you can check further with like um, you can check further with tools like uh, say what's it called again with the access chunk. Like, uh, to downloads. Home Calais downloads. Axe the trunk. No, we couldn't zip that one right turn. <laughs> it should piece her right in. And then let me distract my app key. 10 to 11. So we can do something like. W get eleven. So you can transfer this tool right here. And then this is the check essentially the the access over the service binaries itself. The less, uh, you can do that with the iCackles and get ACL as well. The most awkward part is checking services. So we can use this tool to check the service as well. So, generic right, we can check this one.
And we can see that there is not really like much we can do. Administrators and system has all access, the rest is basically nothing. But yeah. So, but yeah, to summarize, pretty much we have a yeah, always, in, uh, always install elevated. Install elevated. And that is pretty simple to essentially abuse. So we're going to make a reversal. And when we, essentially what this write allows us to do is that we can execute MSI files in a context of system. So it's a very dangerous write to be given to any user. So <laughs> let's make a reversal. Like so, call it reverse MSI. And then when we transfer that over to the system, we can essentially just run something like this. Um, we're gonna be running this, right? Because we don't have it in a share. And then yeah, execute it, so. Yes, I don't have a RL wrap. I recommend uh, installing this because it just makes shells on Windows so much better. Awesome. So let me just uh, transfer this uh, shell. Reverse MSI. Reverse MSI. Like so. And there we go. Create our shell again. So our. Awesome. It's essentially the wrapper just allowing that uh, the shell will get the netcat, which is be often convenient. It works well with other things as well. Uh, RL wrap, uh, FTP, or Telnet. A lot of things, it's an awesome tool. Um, but yeah, I recommend playing with it. So what we're gonna do now is to execute this MSI file that we created, the reversal, and it will execute a system. So let's execute that. You see that it's loading. And we go back to our Kali, and we can say, who am I? And we are anti-authority system, right? So very easy and very awesome. So. We went from ADS system, right? So the next thing that I always want to do is to dump hashes. I prefer to do this always with NetExec because I just find it so good and so reliable and so solid. So that's exactly what I will be doing to start off with at least. So the, the most convenient way to do this is just to take the user that we currently had the user and that we are access to um, and then just make them an admin. So let's do that. So net local group administrators ADS and then slash add and now this person is an admin. Just like that. So now we can go back to NetExec IPs user ADS password was Peru something like this I believe uh, over SMB Yes, and you can see now client too on 1002.9. 1002.9. We can now get a shell of SMB, right? Which we couldn't before, so it's because it's the person's an admin. So now we can do something like SAM, dump SAM hashes. So this is pretty that's pretty much how I prefer doing this love. So we can go to um Dumping hashes. Let's see. We got exactly remote hash dump. Yeah, so here. This pretty much had just has what went in. So you can pretty much just follow this to uh, extract all the hashes. So we start with the SAM hashes. Anyway, we want to dump SAM, we want to dump uh, LSS and also LSA.
So let's do this next. And I just just because I actually want to see what's happening as well. Let me just remove all of that. Just to double check that everything is going smooth, right? You can also run it with this module as well, Helsassi. So we can see that we found the ADS user itself. So that's not uh, too interesting. So now we're trying with LSS instead of Nanodump. But we get the same output, right? <clears throat> so we added that hash. Let's continue. So we cannot dump uh, entity states because again requires a domain admin or <laughs> or local admin on a DC, which we don't have access to, right? This is just a client. Client two specifically on this IP. And now let's stomp LSA hashes. So. so we can do it like so. So. So we actually have the domain admin right here, the administrator of hackacademy.local right here. But it's not an NTLM hash. But we can certainly try cracking that. We also have another user we haven't seen before as well, Jay Bailey. And they both seem to be the same type of hash type as well. So this is very, very interesting, right? So let's try to take this. Uh, let's take that output right here. And then let's also take the actual domain admin as well. Also extremely interesting, right? And then let's just try cracking it. So John, word list. User share, word list. Rocky.txt, and then we name the hash, and then let's see how this uh, does. And this is the right hash type as well. I believe that I have it in my notes. Cracking MS cache, yeah. So pretty much like this, but since it automatically Detected the hash type, it's fine. I could try forcing if it doesn't crack anything. But yeah. So this is why it's so important to dump all hashes. Like if we check, for instance, like the SAM. Um, and LSAS, but not LSA. Then we could miss potentially this gold mine, right? That's, and also just, I really like, not exact for numbing hashes. So yeah, let me just wait and see if this uh, cracks or not. And uh, that will essentially dictate what we uh, do next. So these are just the local hashes, right? And here we just found the ADS, which is the same hashes we already have access to, or the user. 
to you. But if you manage to get access to J. Bailey or the Alban, then that would be truly awesome. So yeah, let me just wait until this cracks and then let's continue. Now, if you enjoy how I teach and you enjoy this video and you want to take the OCP, then what are you doing not being in this course? It's over 15 hours long and it covers everything that you need. If you're only watching the videos on YouTube, you're missing out a lot because it's over 15 hours of content. You will get access to the VIP section on Discord where you can ask me any questions and you can study alongside all the other students in our course right now. You will also get access to this checklist right here, which will cover at least 95% plus of all the attacks and all the techniques that you need to know for every single section. Not only initial access, but AD, pivoting, Linux, and Windows privilege escalation. And the goal for you is to reach proficient or at least basic competence on all of them. That's one of the things. We also have this entire roadmap right here, where there's a bunch of action steps and a bunch of cheat sheets inside all of these hyperlinks that I can't show you in this video. But once you've completed all of them, you know for a fact that you will be ready to get into the OCP exams and absolutely crush it. If that sounds interesting to you, to get all of this in 15 hour plus of <laughs> video footage from someone who has OCP, who explains different attacks and techniques and methodologies, it's going to be invaluable to you. Now, some people are confused what they offer. If you're interested in the notes, these are the notes that you will constantly see me use in the videos, right? They're pretty much recommended to go hand in hand with the course, and I use them constantly in the course itself, right? So I think you'll find it extremely useful. That's also why we have the third offer, which is the bundle where you can buy both of these together for a discount. I hope that clarifies things. Best of luck on your OCP journey. I really hope this will be massively useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.